Hi, in this video I'll show you how to diagnose a problem with a car that's running rich and has a code for mass airflow sensor. First we'll read the code that it has with the scan tool. The first code that it has is P0102 mass of volume airflow circuit low input. Now we see the live data for the car. We have to start the car and the first thing we will see is the fuel trims. The fuel trims are showing almost minus 15%, which means that the car is running rich. Next, we check the readings for the air mass. The readings for the air mass are showing normal uh, values, but uh, if the mass airflow sensor is not working, then it might be reading the values from the from the map sensor. So next we'll clear all the codes and see what will come back. The same code came back P0102, the code for mass of air, or volume airflow circuit, low input. That means there must be a problem with the airflow meter. That's the airflow meter right there and we'll check uh, the wiring to see if everything is okay. First we'll remove the connector from the airflow meter and see if uh, another code is gonna be on the scan tool. No, there is no other code on the scan tool, so now we'll start checking the wires. First we'll check the wiring diagram for the airflow meter to see how many wires it has, what colors they are and where they are connected. Where my mouse is going, that's uh, the positive wire. And then the other two wires are going into the engine control module. One, one of them is uh, ground and the other one must be signal wire. Now we start checking the wiring. Before we start checking the wiring, we have to turn the ignition on. We'll use the power probe to check if everything is okay with the wiring. We use the two cables of the power probe onto the positive and the negative terminal on the battery. And then we start measuring. So with the ignition on, when I touch the positive wire of the power probe, it, the power probe has to light red. When I touch the 
negative wire it has to um, light green we're getting a red signal so that means that's the positive wire on the middle wire we're getting green so that means that's the ground wire on the third one that must be the signal wire but the signal wire we have to check we have to check it while it's plugged in and we'll back probe, back probe it we'll start the car and go and check uh, to see if there is uh, power going back to the computer from the map from the air flow meter so start checking so the first wire is the positive wire we're getting red and then we'll ch check the second wire it must be green because it's the ground wire and then the third one afterwards that's the positive that's the second one is the negative and now we check the third one which is the signal wire there is nothing no nothing no signal coming back there are two reasons for signal not going back from the air flow meter to the ECU one is a broken wire somewhere and the other one is uh, not air flow meter not working and just not sending any signal back so first to we'll check uh, the two wires that are going from the mass airflow sensor to the ECU check for continuity if there's continuity on the two wires that means there is a problem with the airflow meter so the two wires are pin 12 and pin 13 on the engine ECU Next we open the engine ECU to see uh, which pins are 12 and 13 so that we can see if there is continuity on them. So there is pins 12 and 13, they are on the big connector on the ECU. So we, we unplug the big connector on the ECU and start counting which uh, are pins 12 and 13. The second last two pins are pins 12 and 13. So now we go to the airflow meter. Uh, we take a multimeter and put one of the wires on one of the pins here. We put the multimeter on continuity and uh, we touch one of the two pins to see if there's continuity. If the, if, if the multimeter starts uh, making noise, that means there's continuity. There is continuity on the two pins, so that means the problem there is no broken wires, so that means the problem must be in the airflow meter, so we need to change the airflow meter. Thank you for watching the video, if the video was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, thank you very much.